guys, thank you so much for joining us today and taking time out of your busy schedules to catch up with us and uh, let us tell you what we've been up to over the past few months. For those of you who don't know who we are, my name is Shamir. And my name is Don. We would love to welcome you to the Cradle of Life launch. Now, before we get into the nitty gritty of what the Cradle of Life is, a bit of background, I think, on both of us, for those who don't really know us. I was born and raised in Kenya, Nairobi specifically. I am a city girl, but I'm somebody who absolutely loves nature. Uh, I spent a lot of my childhood in different parts of Kenya. My parents used to take us for, you know, drives and for uh, different little family get-togethers that we would explore Kenya in different ways and different aspects and I think that's what grew my love for for Africa because I got to see the landscapes I fell in love with the people the cultures the food mm, yes. <laughs> so so many things that you know played a role in that I spent a lot of my childhood here but when I was 19 in 2007 I moved to the Seychelles which is a, a little island in the Indian Ocean and I spent about eight years working for the Seychelles Broadcasting Corporation, which is in the radio section. So I was working for radio in radio broadcasting, and I think it helped me expand on the different things that I, I wanted to do. And it's also contributed to what's led me here. I then moved to a private radio station, a commercial radio station. Uh, that was in 2015, and I spent five years there learning the ropes, um, you know, seeing the different parts of radio, learning about advertising, learning about clientele, learning about different, you know, different things that I could uh, in my capacity. I moved on to uh, become the operations manager for the radio station but at some point which was last year I felt that I had a calling something was missing and um, I think a lot of things added to to me realizing that I needed to be somewhere else and that is why I'm here today. I, on the other hand, am an island boy. Uh, that little island she was talking about, that's where I'm from. I was born there and I was raised in Kenya. So I'm really lucky enough to call two places home, Kenya and Seychelles, actually raised here in Nakuru. And um, I moved back to Seychelles in the late 90s. And from there, I got into work, a variety of things from real estate to tourism, to hotel management, to the, a brewery, um, yeah, brewing beer, uh, music production, which I so love. I also did uh, live entertainment, live gigs. So uh, there was a lot of that. And eventually I found my way to a radio station. It was the same one that Don worked at. Um, I was there for eight years and I was a radio presenter and eventually the program's manager. But much like Dawn, I also felt like there was something missing. And that's when I realized that our purposes, so to speak, were pretty much aligned. And we decided to collectively walk away together. And here we are. Here we are. Now we do know that, you know, the last two years have been really tough on the world in general, given the pandemic and the different situations people have found themselves in. You know, a lot of people losing jobs, a lot of people, you know, trying to find their own direction. And I think for, for many people who are in our lives at the time, I thought I think they th thought we were crazy to you know <laughs> yeah. just pack up and move. But it was something that we, we really felt we needed to do, and I think we had the support system. In Africa, they say it takes a community to raise a child, but I also feel that it takes a community to uplift um, different people in that community and tell them if this is what you want to do, if this is what you want to go for, then we're here to back you up. And we've had that with our own family and our friends and we're really grateful. So we're just going to tell you about April 2021 when we decided to actually take the plunge and move. So April 2021, that's when we pretty much dropped everything and moved on from Seychelles, uh, made the big move, uh, you know, much to many people's surprise. And uh, we managed to make our way here and decided to sit down and put some of our skills together. So we sat down and thought about the things that we've done, the experiences that we've had. And although there's been many hurdles, many challenges, um, we've been working on certain elements timelessly to try and achieve these, put together, so that we can bring the African continent to life in many aspects. Yeah. So within the cradle of life, we have a production house. We were in radio, so production is part of our genes. <laughs> it is Definitely. who we are. Um, music production, adverts, documentaries, um, different programs. We're really working hard on those things. And I think in the coming months, you'll be able to see the different things that we're talking about right now. Um, we also have a live entertainment um, part of the company that uh, Shamrock is a singer, he's a pianist. <laughs> and so he brings that, that side of the company out 
uh, for, for the entertainment world. It's something that's close to my heart. I've been gigging for many years now. And uh, for those of you who know me, I've probably played at your birthdays, or your your weddings, or even your cocktails and corporate events. Um, it's something that I, that I do and I would like to carry on doing under the umbrella of the Cradle of Life. Uh, so that's another aspect in the musical, in the production house part of the Cradle of Life. Yeah, which also leads to him producing music. So we do music, we, we write songs, and we produce uh, music for whoever may need it. So that is another aspect of it. We are also into events, and that is something that we're still growing on and still learning different ropes of. And it's something that is part of the Cradle of Life. On the other side as well, we have advertising, uh, which is, um, to do with an advertising agency that has come on board with us and we'll reveal them in just a little while. But when it comes to Africa, I think Sham and I really want to change that negative perception of what Africa is, who the African people are, what are our cultures, our progress, you know, our music. I think the outside world tends to, to show the negative sides of Africa. And so you see the poverty side, you see um, conflict within you know, and abound our borders. You don't get to see our progress. You don't get to see what we've accomplished. You don't get to see the different talents that are coming out, our young generation, what they have to offer, the people who have been in the industry that are building our economies. These are the things that you don't get to see and these are the things that we really want to push forward and you know, show the world that we are not what you think we are in the negative realm. We're changing that perception. And so this is why we're embarking on this journey. So it's not just about a production house. It's about the different African countries, 54 African countries, pulling different elements of them and showing you what we really are made of. Absolutely, we want to change the narrative. We've been considered the dark continent for way too long. And I think there is so much more to Africa that uh, a lot of people don't get to see, sadly. And, uh, you know, we are here to change that. Absolutely. When we talk about a community, you know, raising a child, we have different elements in the cradle of life that has allowed us to build a foundation. Those elements are the people who have been behind us. I would have to say my mom has been the biggest backing. Thank you so much for that. Okay. You know, my siblings, your family. Absolutely. My siblings, my dad, my friends, who I consider family, of course. Uh, they've all been there. They've been immense support. And uh, we couldn't have done it without you all. Honestly. So we're saying a big thank you to you. And while we talk about, you know, those different elements, the cradle of life, for it to come to life, we sat down and we, you know, like we said, we talked about the different things that we felt could work within the cradle of life. And to get this done, we needed a few more elements put into place. And that came in the form of art director and also somebody who was able to shed light on how businesses operate, how you can start up, how you can put the different elements together and bring the cradle of life to life. To life. <laughs> so a little something from them. Hi, I'm Stella Porakan. Um, I'm the co-founder and um, CEO of Clever Box Creations Limited. Um, Cleverbox Creations Limited is an advertising and creative agency based um, in Uganda, Kampala. And um, I've been in the advertising industry for more than 15 years. I've had an opportunity to work with the biggest and um, best minds in the industry across the African continent and globally as well. Um, my journey with Cradle of Life. My journey with Cradle of Life started when we um, had an opportunity to spend about um, eight weeks with the two co-founders of Cradle of Life. Um, they came over to Uganda to visit and uh, we spent a lot of time, nights and days and weeks trying to articulate um, what the essence of the cradle of life was what it meant, what the vision for the cradle of life would be. Um, given that we have an advertising background, we spent time uh, with the two co-founders trying to um, understand um, what their vision was. So we worked with them in trying to um, unpack who the cradle of life was targeted for what it was going to be communicating and bringing to um, its audiences across the country and the continent and, and, and the, the globe. 
um, at large in terms of um, what the Cradle of Life would offer its audiences that nobody else was already offering. So, um, it was long days and nights, putting a lot of things on paper, ideas, and, and you know, um, trying to figure out how we would break through um, a lot of clutter that already existed in everybody trying to kind of profile the African continent, its diversity, its people, its culture. We worked tirelessly and um, we articulated what the Cradle of Life's vision was going to be, what its mission was going to be, what its objectives were, the target audience, the route to market and how we were eventually going to launch this amazing brand that would encompass the essence of the African continent, the African people, its culture, and the diversity that comes from that. Um, it's been an incredible journey. And um, what I would like to say to the two co-founders of um, this amazing company is um, the time is now. We are very proud of you and congratulations upon the launch of Cradle of Life. Hi guys, I'm Adrian Khan, uh, co-founder and creative director at Cleverbox Creations. Uh, I've pretty much been in advertising or the creative world for most of my life, which well, if I say most, it's pretty long, but about 22 years, you know, building brands across East Africa and also globally. I'm Kenyan by birth, but Uganda has become my home and it's, you know, for me, it's where my cradle of life actually began. But my story with the brand itself, Cradle of Life, is twofold. Number one, it's a very personal connection to me on a very individual level. But also secondly, it's a brand that I think challenged me in terms of my creative capabilities and why I say that it's because it was the first brand that I've worked with that I had a very personal connection with. So it was a challenge trying to balance the two of them, you know, your personal life and your creative life and trying to treat this brand as a client. So it was challenging, but at the same time, it was very inspiring for me to see a brand, to be part of a brand from the conception or ideation of what this brand was about to a brand that actually has an, an identity towards it and it has a philosophy and it has everything that any big brand would want to or, or does have as a brand. So it was, like I say, challenging but fun at the same time, you know, where you spend you know, endless nights or late nights and early mornings trying to think of where can this brand go and what can we do to this brand. But after all that and, you know, after months of debate, months of challenges, you know, at least we are here at a point where we can say, look, this is the birth of a new brand, a brand that is totally African, a brand that speaks for Africa, and a brand that will be here for as long as Africa is around. To the two founders, who I consider very close people of mine, I'd like to tell them, congratulations guys, you have done well. This is the beginning of a journey that will have its challenges, but it will also have its rewards. For now, ride the tide, enjoy every moment of it, and let's do this again in the next 10 years and see where this brand is. So to you two guys, kudos, good luck, and all the best. Cheers guys. With that said, welcome to the Cradle of Life.
that's a bit of insight as to what the Cradle of Life is about. I think the different elements um, of the Cradle of Life that we have to talk about and the different people who have been a big part of this journey for us. One person is Wellington Manjengwa. Hi, my name is Wellington and I am a financial services professional. I'm also an author, a speaker, coach, a trainer, and I am the founder of The Well of Inspiration. I'm really excited today to be a part of the launch of The Cradle of Life, a vision that has been created to give value and contribute and make Africa into a place of greatness by bringing real value to the marketplace. Now, I had the privilege of meeting with the team that is behind the Cradle of Life, that is Don and Sham, way back, I think, in 2016. Actually, I was a fan of theirs before I got to meet them in person because they were presenters on a Pure, a pure FM, a radio station in the Seychelles, where they were living at the time, and I, I live as well. So I had a dream, a vision of becoming a proponent of personal development content. But at that time, I was working a nine to five job, or call it an 8.30 to 4.30 job at the time. And I was looking for an opportunity to use the platform of the radio station to disseminate information, ideas, and strategies, just to help people to take their lives, businesses, careers, relationships, etc., to the next level of success, and just simply to share information with them. So when I approached the radio station through a friend of mine who was working there as well, I was introduced to the team that included Don and, Sham and Shamrock. Now, Don and Sham became the first hosts of the show that I was given on the radio station, and we were working together, the three of us, really just having a conversation, empowering conversations that were helping people and just opening our eyes to the possibilities of life and just reminding us of the power that we carry within us. So throughout that process, we became friends and now we've become partners in coming up with this great vision. I am very happy to have been included as one of the people that have supported this vision to come alive. And I am excited about the journey that is going ahead for them. I know that when whatever you start, the journey is never going to be smooth. There will be difficulties. But Don and Cham, let me remind you, for the cradle of life to be a success, you've got to remember this, that the mighty oak tree was once a little nut that held its ground. You've got to hold your ground no matter what challenges come your way. You've got to hold your ground, hold the vision, despite the difficulties that may come your way. Even though circumstances will happen that will challenge you, it is up to you to rise to the challenge until you see this vision through. I wish you tremendous success and I wish you the very best with the cradle of life. So as you can see, um, he is a big part of our journey and I think our future as well. Wellington, thank you so much. Thank you, um, Wellington. We have uh, a long way to go, but we've began things. And I think when I talk about beginning things, there are other people who have impacted us. I know a lot of them cannot come to speak today, but here is another person who has really changed my life in so many ways and impacted us and been a part of this journey. Greetings from Scottsdale, Arizona. I am Peter Carberry and I'd like to welcome you to the launch of the Cradle of Life Productions. Dawn Athanasius, one of the co-founders of the Cradle of Life, is my niece. And I am really proud of the journey that she and her partner Sham have undertaken the vision they've created, and their work and effort to bring you a platform that strives to cultivate positive and meaningful connections within the African continent and beyond. Through the Cradle of Life platform, Dawn and Sham will work with partners to provide content of substance and enable these partners to further reveal the true essence of Africa. I wish Dawn and Sham and the Cradle of Life Productions, much success. Now, as you've seen everywhere, every good story comes with a theme song. <laughs> so, <laughs> we decided to have a theme song. And I'm gonna let Dawn tell you a little bit more about this because she actually wrote this song. 
So I think the song for the Cradle of Life, it's um, a big part of who I am. <laughs> <laughs> and when I was sitting down and we were coming up with all the different ideas and the different things that we felt um, would work for the Cradle of Life, what we wanted to do and what we wanted to showcase, I felt the need, the desire to, to write a song. And it's so funny because it's been so long since I've written music, this one just came through. It's a song about the cradle of life in general, not the company. Africa being the cradle of life. It's about our people, it's about who we are, the songs that we hear in our souls, the culture that we are, the different elements that make us unique in Africa. We have so many countries, 54. So those different elements that actually make us the continent. The element of love and support, um, the element of being one with Africa. I could go on, but I'm going to leave it there <laughs> and uh, just say that it took us a while to, to come up with the music and the chords and um, I, I envisioned it being what it is right now. So I'm absolutely excited to share it with you. Shamrock, as he's well known, um, played a big role in this. Thank you for, you know, just being a big part of this. The Thank vocals you. are his, the musical arrangement is his. So I don't know if you want to just say a few words on that. For me, it was all about the vibe. Uh, Dawn came to me with a recording on her phone saying, I think I have something for the Cradle of Life. So I thought, okay, let me listen to it. And the moment I heard it, I was blown away because it really resonated with something inside me. And I knew exactly what I wanted to hear from it. And I hope I did it justice. Uh, we'll let you listen to it in just a moment. Um, other than that is all I can say, you wrote a killer song. Oh, thank you. Love it. Love it. <laughs> thank you as well In fact, for I everything. might just extend it a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> so this is just, in a nutshell, what we feel the cradle of life is really about. And when I say the cradle of life, like I said, Africa being the cradle of life. Take a listen. It's the light from within Shining right through our voices For our lands and our kin We unite for our continent Africa shine Africa show them what you made of Hope you enjoyed that. We plan on making the song a little longer, but we thought we'd share a snippet of it just for now. Absolutely. So watch this space. <laughs> <laughs> we want to say thank you to all those who've taken that time to, you know, sit here and listen to us and um, be a part of our journey. And hopefully we will have you with us right through. Don't forget the Cradle of Life is about empowering different individuals, companies, um, the younger generation touching them in different ways with the different elements we're bringing together we hope but we know actually we're gonna actually do some justice to Africa and put forward what she really is about so we want to say Asante Sana um, to the support system to those who have been a part of us uh, you know I can mention names mom Carleen Adrian Greg Gina Stella um, my nieces and nephews my uncle um, Uncle Andy friends, Maya, thank you so much, Priscilla, thank you so much. There's so many names, I'll let you take over. <laughs> I'm just gonna say to all my family and friends, because there's too many to mention, thank you ever so much. From the bottom of our hearts, thank you. A big, big thank you. You've been an amazing support system to us. And I just wanna say a big asante, a big merci. Um, obviously to everyone in Seychelles as well as watching right now. And for our partners who are already been working with us, yes. thank you again. Thank we you really so do much. appreciate um, having you on board. And um, as of now, 
all our social platforms are live. You can check them out down below. And uh, like, subscribe, consider sharing with your friends, with your colleagues, with your family. And of course, walk this journey with us. Asante Sana, like Sharma has said, please do follow us. You know, our platforms are now open for you to, to have a look at. Um, if you have stories of inspiration, stories of, you know, struggle, different elements that makes you unique in Africa, please share it with us. We would love, you know, to put your story forward and we would love to have you be a part of this journey with us for the Cradle of Life. Visit our website, <laughs> www.thecradleoflife.co. Asante. Asante. <laughs>